NMR is a platform, let's put it that way. It's called nuclear magnetic resonance. So let's start with nuclear. Nuclear is the nucleus, uh, which is a little atomic particle. This nucleus is a spinning charged particle, so it's got a nuclear magnetic moment. It's like a small magnet. That's the magnetic. And resonance means when you put it in a high magnetic field, it's like a compass. It oscillates or precesses at a certain resonance frequency. And those can be excited and they emit radio frequency signals. And those can be coming out of the body or coming out of molecules. And they're like a, I don't know, I'd call it a fingerprint. Because each molecule has different atoms. They each resonate at slightly different frequencies. That combination of frequencies is like a pattern for the molecule, just like if I hear some music, I hear, oh, I know that's the Brahms uh, quartet number two. This one's, uh, this is a cyclodextrin A, uh, the one in that or the other, right? And so quantum mechanics describes the physical behavior of these spins because they're microscopic systems on atoms. It's a fingerprint. And beyond that, you can actually play with these nuclear spins in a non-invasive way. With lasers, you can affect molecules too, but it's very blunt. It affects the whole molecule. Magnetic resonance is a way to manipulate each of these atoms with its spin at the point of a molecule, an atom, and to hear back what happens. And that bridges between the mathematics of the quantum mechanics, the engineering part of using it, and what you learn from that about chemistry. It's an ideal platform. And one of the reasons it never runs out is it's an infinite toy store. And there remain ways to enhance it further, to have it more applicable to wider set of targets. Chemistry, material science, food, uh, uh, waste, wine, uh, blood analysis, uh, in vivo, MRI came out of that for the same reason. It's non-invasive, it can look inside the body. Uh, it's radio waves, it doesn't harm you. Your body sings and gives you information about itself. And anybody who says that the NMR is dead is in fact saying quantum mechanics is dead and chemistry is dead and uh, that, that simply can never be the case.